Good evening and welcome to News Our Agenda. I'm Adhwaz Gopal Krishnan. In a cowardly attack on India and its symbol, Khalistani supporters tried to set the Indian consulate in San Francisco on fire. You can see the raging fire on one side of the consulate. However, it was swiftly put out and no major damage was done. The reason why this is disturbing is because a pattern is now emerging of an attack on symbols of India abroad by Khalistani mobs, not just consulates. Indian envoys are also on Khalistani hit list. Posters with the faces of Indian envoys are being circulated in Toronto, US and Australia. Not just that, Pakistan Back Seek for Justice has announced that they will simultaneously besiege Indian embassies across the globe. The reason for this Khalistani onslaught is to protest against the death of three Khalistani terrorists across Canada, UK and Pakistan, which has rattled the Pakistan ISI terrorist nexus. Now, they've blamed India for these deaths and have called for retributive action to energize their cadre. India, however, has always, on global stages, talked tough against Khalistani elements and terror in general. Listen to External Affairs Minister calling out to crush these secessionist forces across the globe, while the BJP has also said that this government has both the will and the intent. हमारे जो पार्टनर देश जो हैं जैसे कनाडा है अमेरिका है यूके है ऑस्ट्रेलिया है जहां कभी-कभी खालिस्तानी एक्टिविटीज होती हैं हमने उनको रिक्वेस्ट की है कि वो उनको खालिस्तानियों को स्पेस न दें ये ये रैडिकल एक्सट्रीमिस्ट विचारधारा जो है वो ना हमारे लिए अच्छा है ना उनके लिए है ना हमारे रिश्तों के लिए तो ये ये जो पोस्टर का विषय ये हम जरूर उन सरकारों से उठाएंगे आज पूरे विश्व में बातावरण बनता रहा है जो भी व्यक्ति राष्ट्रीय विरोधी ताकतों में है या किसी प्रकार का अंतर्वाद फैलाना चाहते हैं सबकी मानसिकता एक रूप में बदल रही है कि इनको इनका दमन किया जाना चाहिए लेकिन ये जो घटनाएं घट रही हैं बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और इनको रोकने का पूरा विश्व एक साथ ही प्रयास करेगा तो मुझे लगता है कि देश में विश्व में हम अमन शांति ला सकते हैं इंडियन काउंसिलेट सैन फ्रांसिस्को में जो आगजनी करने की कोशिश की गई हम उसकी कड़े शब्दों में निंदा करते हैं मैं विदेशों में बैठे सिखों से आग्रह करता हूं ऐसे लोगों को आइडेंटिफाई किया जाए और उनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए Meanwhile, the United States has strongly condemned the attempted arson against the Indian consulate in San Francisco, calling it a criminal offence. Even Canada has condemned the planned rallies against Indian consulates as unacceptable. In March, the same consulate in San Francisco was vandalized when Punjab police had launched a massive manhunt against Amritpal Singh. Windows of the consulate were vandalized and free Amritpal graffiti was splashed on walls. In March, Khalistan sympathizers had also pulled the Tiranga down at the Indian High Commission in London. After these repeated attacks, the opposition has now lashed out at the centre for appeasement. Congress's Pawan Khera has tweeted, reminding that Iqbal Singh Lalpura, an open supporter of, or who he calls at least an open supporter of Khalistan poster boy Bhindran Wale, is in BJP's parliamentary board. संत भिंडर वाले का आभार किमें हों संत भिंडर वाले की पहली गिरफ्तारी कदों हों तो पुलिस अफसर साढ़े नाल ने इकबाल सिंह लालपुरा जिन्हों ने पहली बार संत भिंडर वाले गिरफ्तार किया पहली बार तो मुलाकात कदों हों संत भिंडर वाले अत्तर दा एक दूजे नू जानना, एक दूजे दा मुलाकात, ते नरंकारी के इस दी इन्वेस्टिगेशन विच ओधी पैर भी करनी, इस कर के ऐसी एक दूजे नू मिल दे रहे हैं। संत कहे जे बंदे सी, मलो कहे जा शक्षियत कही जी सी उन्ना दी। संत एक साधू सी, जेले सिख तर्म दे प्रचार परसार Times also spoke to Lalpura about the Congress's allegation. Listen in. Mr. Pawan Khera has tweeted that Bhindrawala is the icon of Khalistanis and Iqbal Singh Lalpura consider Bhindrawala a saint. And Lalpura is in core committee of BJP and if he was in any other party, BJP and its media would have hounded the entire party for the covert is shown by Khalistani idiots at San Francisco. I think Pawan Khera is totally ignorant about the events of that time. He should see the statement of and the Rajiv Gandhi recognizing Pindamala as a saint. He should see it first and talk to me. He should apologize 
he must apologize for this he should first answer to me what indira gandhi and mr rajiv gandhi has said about mandawa others in the opposition also lashed out at the center claiming that the government has failed at diplomacy ਕੋ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਸੀ ਭਾਰਤੀ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਸ਼ਾਨਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੱਜ਼ਤਾਂ ਕਮਾਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਾਖ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਾ ਧੱਕਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਵੱਟਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਮੁਲਕਾਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਚੰਦ ਬੰਦੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਮਛਲੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਤਲਾਬ ਨੂੰ ਗੰਦਾ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਮੋਦੀ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕਹਾ ਤਾ ਮਾ ਮੋਸਟ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਕਹਾ ਤਾ ਨਾ ਮਾਈ ਡੀਅਰ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਜੀ ਵਾਈਡਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕੋ ਔਰ ਵਾਈਡਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਆਪ ਕੇ ਆਤੇ ਵਹਾਂ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਕੇ ਰਾਜ ਮੇ ਹੋ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਉਸਮੇ ਕਹਾਂ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਬ ਸੇ ਇਹ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਲਾਏ ਹਨ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਆਦਮੀ ਔਰ ਖੁਦ ਮੋਦੀ ਜੀ ਜਿਨਕੋ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਨੀਤ ਕੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੇ ਕੁਛ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾਲੂਮ ਉਹ ਵਿਆਖਿਆਨ ਦੇਤੇ ਰਹਤੇ ਹਨ ਉਸ ਕੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਸੇ ਭਾਰਤੀ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਅਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਟੈਕ ਔਨ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਹਾਈ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਔਰ ਅੰਬੈਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸੀਰੀਅਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਟੂ ਐਨ ਅਟੈਕ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਐਨ ਫੇਅਰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੈਨ ਬੀਲ ਥੈਟ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਬਾਈਂਡਡ You're watching the news hour at 10 debate number 1 on times now super prime time Now for more of this, let's take this across to our guest joining us, Sanju Verma, National Spokesperson of the BJP. We have with us Sushant Sareen, who is a senior fellow at the ORF. Puneet Sani is author and expert on Khalistan terrorism. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary is a leader of the Congress Party. We have with us Dr. Akash Deep Puneet, political analyst who leans uh, towards the Aam Aadmi Party. Let me start sir, first and foremost, Sanju Verma. Of course, it's extremely condemnable what has happened uh, in uh, San Francisco. There's no two ways about it. And no Indian would be happy with the events that have taken place. But what's happening here in India is that we are seeing a political debate and a blame game. We are seeing the Congress party's Pawan Khera and you've seen the tweet, you've seen what Mr. Lalpur has also said in his defense. But this is a very serious charge. They are saying a member of your parliamentary board of the BJP actually refers to Bhindran Wale, a terrorist, as a sant. You know, Madhav, uh, Pawan Khera is a rabble rouser and a loud mouth and I'll tell you why. Uh, Iqbal Singh Lalpura was also uh, one of the national spokespersons uh, before uh, he moved on to bigger things uh, and I have interacted with him and you know uh, I uh, being a Punjabi understand Punjabi so well uh, what Iqbal Singh Lalpura says in that interview is that politicians used Bhindra Wale for their political gains and yes he did say ki wo sadhu aadmi tha but then don't forget that this is the same ikbal singh lalpura who in his capacity as an ips officer in 1981 was one of the three ips officers who actually arrested jarnel singh bhindra wale and if you look at ikbal singh lalpura's uh, career for almost two decades he was at the forefront in curtailing uh, secessionism uh, in uh, border areas in punjab particularly in amritsar where he was posted for the longest time so pavan khera uh, can make reckless allegations uh, they mean they mean little i want to actually ask a counter question and i'll just take 10 seconds you know uh, pavan khera jairam ramesh their entire clan uh now seems to be uh, singing in favor of sikh community but let me remind them that ex prime minister rajiv gandhi the father of rahul gandhi said after the 1984 anti sikh genocide jab ek bada ped girta hai to dharti thodi hilti hai this is the kind of derogatory and dismissively puerile language used to completely uh, gloss over one of the worst programs in recent times and it was narendra modi mother if you recall who in october 2014 constituted the sit to look into the anti sikh genocide due to which sajjan kumar was sent to prison which the okay. congress failed to bring any of the perpetrators to no, justice no, we'll, we'll, we'll get into we'll get into that aspect of 84 i think that's a very important debate but like right now for the moment let's just stick to khalistan because otherwise you know it'll be we'll be debating n number of issues so my request to all our panelists not just you is that let's stick to this issue of khalistan because it's a very very pertinent issue that affects all of us as citizens and certainly all our national pride uh, you know when we see this ghastly images coming from san francisco it affects all of us as citizens those are the envoys working for all of 
of us 1.4 billion Indians. And let me in that light ask you a simple question, Sanju Varma. You know, what you've said about the role of Mr. Lalpura, I will of course put to the other panelists. But you know, in the past we have seen the BJP make a big hue and cry when Hafi Sai Ji is said, when Osama Ji is said, shouldn't the same yardstick apply? Because your party has taken a very strong stand when it comes to terror and what the limits of tolerance of terror are. Why should that yardstick not be applied here? I'm very glad you asked me that question. And I want to tell all the detractors who think otherwise that the Modi government is soft when it uh, comes to calling out the bluff of uh, radical Khalistanis. Tell me who arrested Jaswind in December 2021? Jaswinder Singh Multani is a noted uh, Khalistani radical. It is the Modi government. Who in November 2022 arrested Kulvinder Jeet Singh Khanpuria, a dreaded terrorist belonging to the Babbar Khalsa group? It was thanks to inputs from the NIA. Who in April 2023 acted in coordination with the Punjab police? It was actually the Central Intelligence which gave inputs thanks to which Varis of Punjab head honcho Amrit Pal Singh and his confidant Lovepreet Singh Tufani were arrested as recently as April 2023. And let me ask you, thanks to the Modi government, will you not congratulate us for ensuring that Avtar Singh Khanda beat Paramjit Singh Panjwar or for that matter Hardeep Singh Nijjar. They may have been killed in UK or Pakistan or okay. Canada, what have you. Okay. But the but Modi you know, government Sanju, has come down heavily on Khalistani Sanju, I'm radicals. not talking about the point of view of the agencies or the police forces or the intent. But the point is when you have a senior person at a very senior post, that question you have still not answered. The the very fact that he, he refers to a sadhu or son. Yeah. arrested Jarnail Singh Dhindrawale. Come on, Mother. Okay. Iqbal Singh Lalpura arrested Jarnail Singh Dhindrawale. But I was you told he went there for the that? arrest. He went there for the you arrest. But actually the arrest was carried out by someone else due to no, certain no, no, conditions no, no. that Mr. Bindanwale had put forth. Yes, he you said He said in the clip. He said in the clip that I went there for the arrest. He has said in the clip, yes. you are not so, totally wrong factually, but the actual arrest, I believe, took place because of certain other conditions that Mr. Bhandrawale put forth. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask that question. Let me put that question across to the co uh, representative of the uh, Congress party, or the member of the Congress party, Mr. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Pawan Khera has been a little economical with yeah. the truth, says Sanju Verma. Here's a person who went to actually conduct an arrest of Bhandrawale. And that is a person who's being accused of calling him a sant. He is a former IPS officer. No, whatever, whatever he is, will Sanju Varma denied that Iqbal Singh Lalpura had not equalized Brindawale? Yes or no? It's a simple question the whole country wants to uh, know right now. Yes, of course. If she says that the video is true, is false and fabricated, then the courts are there. Send a legal defamation notice to Pawan Khera ji. Dood ka dood, paani ka paani ho jayega. Till that time, please keep quiet and shut up. And say that, okay, we are sorry to the nation. Let's mind our language, please. You know, you know, the are, you, know, I, you know, I have a serious problem with this kind of pedestrian language. Why do we have to do this? We're having a serious debate on Khalistan terror. Why do we have to divert it with pedestrian language? Can't we all keep a little bit of a control over our tongue? Mr. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, you know, this is a serious problem. Why, why do you have to ask anybody to shut up? Why do you have to be rude? Madhav, Madhav, these people, they try to twist it. In any story in such a way that sweets their narrative. Should that I is the biggest problem today. The entire India. No, so you ask the question, sir. Against the Khalistanis. Come on national television. And they will come to national television as a spokesperson of the Bharatiya Juta Party. And person is telling lies. I have asked you a simple question, what sir. Did he go there for the arrest or not? Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Simple question. Madhav, what question did... did is he not a former police officer who went there to conduct what, an arrest? What, what, what language did she use against Pawan Khera? What language did she use against Jairam Dramesh ji? They deserve below the belt languages. Okay. Okay, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to take, carry on this debate much longer. But Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, you know, that's a question that I've posed to you. You've clearly not answered that. I want to bring in Sushant Sareen on this point. Sushant Sareen, you know, when it comes to our political parties, of course, they will be back and forth. They will be sledging. There will be all sorts of things. But the tragedy is that even now, you know, many would say that a, uh, the, the, the criticism of Pawan Khera, whether it's factual, whether it's not, you have a video where you have a senior political leader saying Sant Bindran Wale. Is that not a cause of concern? Madhav, I think it's a very serious cause of concern. Uh, you can take many issues with Mr. Pavan Khera, but when he's uh, right on facts, 
then we must discuss those facts. I wasn't aware that Mr. Lalpura had made such a comment or he held Bindra Wale in such high esteem. Bindra Wale was nothing but a terrorist. To call a terrorist a son raises very serious question about the integrity of a policeman who is then sent to arrest the man. To say that he went and arrested the guy, and we know what that arrest was all about, right? But to say that he was sent to arrest a guy, but he was sent to arrest a guy whom he holds in such great esteem, he calls him a son, I think raises very serious questions over Mr. Lalpura. Now, Mr. Lalpura could have taken a stand that, you know, that was a, I made a mistake, I don't consider him that, but he has doubled down on it. And I find this appalling that somebody can call Bhindra Wale, the man who was responsible for thousands of deaths in Punjab and for unleashing so much of violence. And my friend Puneet is sitting out here. He'll probably uh, shed much greater light. It is, it is appalling. It is shocking. It is distressing that you can, uh, you can hold these kind of views. But, Madhav, it's not just about Lalpura. Uh, Lalpura is, of course, very clearly a problem now. But let's talk about the record of the Modi government when it comes to SGPC and its antics in uh, eulogizing these terrorists. When they make when they uh, uh, when they make use of the gurdwaras which they control, and they plaster images of these terrorists in gurdwaras, and they hold eulogies for them. For example, this Niger terrorist who was killed, this right. scum. Why was the SGPC allowing a bhog to be held for these fellows in the Golden Temple? or any of these other fellows. So, you know, and, and if you turn a blind eye to this, and I remember very clearly a couple of years back, I was having a conversation with uh, Puneet, and he told me the mistake which the Modi government has made. He says that these people think that by reaching out to the Khalistanis, by appeasing to them, you will be able to win them over and turn them around. You are making a big mistake. You are feeding the snake. And very clearly, it now turns out that what is happening today is that you are feeding the snake. And it's about time to call off this nonsense of, you know, soft peddling on this issue. Okay. We all uh, have, have our own faith. We all have our own, uh, you know, belief systems. But to allow somebody to play with the security of this country, please bring back the blacklist. Please make sure that these people are not allowed in. It, when the blacklists were lifted, it was done in good faith. But obviously that good faith has not worked out. Obviously, these people are unreformed. Obviously, they are unreconstructed. Obviously, they are creating problems. And if I'm taking a pot shot at the BJP, that does not mean I'm absolving any of the other political parties right. because everybody is responsible for the mess that is Punjab today. Absolutely, absolutely. And in fact, there are several questions that have been raised. I'm coming to Sanju Verma. I know questions have been asked to the BJP. But I want to bring in the Amadi Party and the SAD also, which both have an equal stake or at least have had, you know, a stake in power in Punjab. And let me bring in Akash Deepuni. Akash Deepuni, we've seen how, for instance, we've had a complete free run given to Amrit Pal, his supporters brandishing weapons, you know, uh, uh, approaching police stations, all sorts of ghastly images coming in from Punjab, a free run given for months. After he became an abscond and finally he did get arrested. But you know, all of this does goes to show that here is a state government which is not very serious or at least allows such elements to, you know, walk around and propagate. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting, Madhav. On the day when BJP supporter praises uh, Bindranwali, you question Ahmadi Party. Well, so you are above questioning. No, no, no. Nobody no, should no, question you and your actions. No, no, I have questioned the BJP different. supporter on the panelist right before you, sir. At least have the uh, guts to admit to the mistakes that your party has made. Uh, I have questioned the Congress. Saying, you are the I first person who is questioning me for raising uh, questions. No, no, that no, is no, the difference between Amadi Party, no, BJP and no, Congress. No, no, Amadi Party will no, question anybody no, who asks no, questions. Why, why, why you are not letting me to speak now? You're because it's such a bizarre question and position that you are taking. Please answer the question. No, this is not a bizarre position I am taking. Of course, today you should answer ask questions to BJP. Not Amadi Party, and now when Amrita I have not heard the question. No, Amadi Party, when it happened, when, then you question only Amadi Party, not BJP. Now, let me answer your question. BJ Renda Group, Ash Dalla drone model, Lakhbi Landa model, KGF, KZF, these all, these all groups of Khalistani group did not come in the last two years when Amadi Party came into power in uh, Punjab. They came after uh, they came with Congress Party. In the 1970s, 80s, and then they came with BJP supporting Shiromani Akali Dal. And my friend of Shiromani Akali Dal is sitting here. 
tell me bjp was in power with shiromani galigar for such a long time today sindranjit singh man is a open khalistani he supports khalistan openly why bharatiya janata party and shiromani akali dal wearing cahoots with sindranjit singh man the mp from sangru first second in 2016 remember rss leaders were killed in ludhiana in jalandhar continuous killings were happening internationally it was happening who was in power in punjab bharatiya janata party and today when bharatiya janata party is in center it is unable to aim uh, you know uh, the khalistani groups today Mira, there Mira. is a question now there is a question now it is the first time also in the congress akash deep muni you have just raised a simple question of sad amritsar mp simranjit singh man in june of last year several radical elements including the sad amritsar held a freedom march on the 30th anniversary of operation blue star so who's allowing them you were clearly in power at that time sir your party was in power they did they did not brought a notice from the supreme court that we have to be allowed for taking out a peaceful march do you remember at that point in time no my question yeah. is so you so you you are okay with allowing you are okay with allowing such individuals a chance are are if they are going them to have a peaceful march with the permission of courts how can we stop the peaceful march aha uh -huh. has the courts not allowed it okay Shaili. sushant sushant sir i want sushant sir to respond to you on that you know uh, i'm not aware about what the court judgment was but if the court judgment says that you can allow a peaceful march of the isis will you allow it Hey, you, these are clearly openly are secessionist you, elements. So, I, frankly, you know, and the Aam Aadmi Party has had uh, serious uh, questions raised about some of the supporters of, uh, you know, it uh, who have uh, uh, ideological leanings with the Khalistanis. They have played footsie with the Khalistanis. Uh, where is the who is who can deny this? Uh, much as I might have a lot of problem with the Congress Party, but I think the Congress Party has probably been the only one. Which has actually taken up cudgels against the uh, Khalistanis in Punjab. The Akalis have been in bed with them. The BJP has been in bed with the Akalis and allowed the Akalis to get away with everything. The Aam Aadmi Party has played footsie with these fellows. So who is blameless out here now? Absolutely, absolutely. And let me let me put that question to the Akali Dal straight out. You know, let, simple question to you, Mr. Maheshwar Singh Grewal, as Vice President, Spokesperson of SAD. Mr. Grewal, your party is on record seeking the release. of devender pal singh bhullar responsible for the delhi blast of balwan singh rajwana the assassin uh, the assassin of bian singh you know on multiple occasions your party has supported their release and these are people who are known i mean the ideological uh, uh, proclivities are very well known if that is the kind was... of uh, politics that has been played by sad then it also has to bear responsibility for the state of affairs today I was uh, thinking that the channel being important, the anchor must be knowing the facts. But I'm sorry to say that you are not fully uh, knowing the facts. The central government, led by Mr. Narendra Modi, on 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, has issued the list of nine peer persons that they are going to re be released on the day of Guru Prab. in which all these names were included gentlemen and notification has been issued to that effect so what is wrong with the akali dal if they ask the government of india to order because two wrongs to don't make a right sir the, may, may, may have been done by the center the, but you have also demanded and these are people, people responsible for acts of terror what is the kind yes, of clemency and what my, is the whole my, idea of my, going soft on people who are my, attacking my, the nation my, killing chief ministers we going to let them go set, i am telling you listen, tomorrow sir if the listen, dmk listen, and i just want to pull up i just want to pull up on the screen if the dmk's please chief listen, minister mr stalin hugs mr perari walen accused of killing rajiv gandhi does that make it right me, mr akali dal mr 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 maheshinder singh garewal will you say that this hug of chief minister stalin is correct now This is the killer just of a person, listen. not just accused, convicted of killing a, a prime minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi. Is this acceptable just, to you? Just, just, just listen to me, gentlemen. This I'm was listening. the government Please. of India. Just listen. Uh, government of India issued the notification. Ask the Home Minister who issued the notification of. I am saying, sir, really? even if that is correct, for, does that for, make it right? Why? Yes. Why do we allow now, a petty, now, regional, now, partisan, now, now, political me. interest to now, override now, the national interest? Now, 
This now, is my question to you, Mr. Me, Akali Dal. Now tell me, now Mr. Tell Grewal, me can you justify today that regional parties like yourself, like the DMK, like several other parties across the country, do not play fast and loose with national security? Can you tell me that you have not done so? By allowing such terrorists and criminal elements to get away with it? This debate only on the issue that there is a violence in embassies abroad. I was asked so who is who has allowed for such doing, elements to fester now, over decades? Now you are doing there is a crackdown, sir. You are doing trial against Khalistan. Is this the issue? Who created the bogey of Khalistan? Ah, and who, who allows people. who gives them oxygen? No, who who allows who them? gives them oxygen who over the last them? several decades? Tell us that also. J a if the killers of the regime can they have been given as how long has your party had a control over SGPC, Amanato? sir? There is no role again. How long has your party had control over SGPC? Please tell us. We, 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 the Sikh representatives, we are in majority in the SGPC yes. management. Yes. And just and now, Sushant Sareen referred to what all SGPC has done. They Please will, respond they to those questions. Say, they, they will say 101 thing. I am not bothered about what they say. I am asking them. Why the Chief Minister of Tamil You are running away from those questions dinner, because they are uncomfortable for you. In, the, in, in honor of the people who are released from the case of... You are running away from those questions, sir. Uh, no, I am I am saying we have done nothing wrong. I want Puneet Sani to come in now. I want Puneet Sani to come in now. Puneet Sani, please I respond to Mr. Grewal. Uh, Mr. Grewal would have us believe that his that party has done nothing wrong. I they have in no way eulogized, uh, you know, commemorated, uh, uh, celebrated, uh, asked for the release of people who are so clearly terrorists, particularly those who believe in Khalistan. Perhaps no so political Madhav, party I, can be absolved, but Akali, in this particular case, what would you say? Akali Dal was never for so, Khalistan, but please, Mr. Grewal, let me speak. So, yeah, Madhav, I don't, I don't have to do con con Congress BJP, but I'm a scholar if you want to do. So, again, on Mr. Lalpura, both Congress and BJP were misrepresenting. If you want, I can go what was actually the incident. But, you know, this Mr. Uh, Mr. Grewal from SAD is giving the example of Rav G. Gandhi killers. They were released when the LTT threat was died down and they expressed regret. But whereas this Khalistan threat is actually coming out of the genie and all these people who had murdered multitudes, like, you know, for example, when they blasted uh, Bian Singh, 17 bystanders were killed. These murderers have never expressed regret. They celebrate these things and these things are being celebrated. So how can the two be compared? And how you started the program, I will go into it, even though you didn't ask the question. You know, you said Mr. Jaisinkar is saying the question. You see what happened in front of our eyes. You know, they had the Taliban had a safe haven in Pakistan and the America. You know, they also used to give statements. You know, we have faith in Pakistan government and, you know, we have expressed our displeasure or something. Pakistan keep doing their own thing. And the superpower America with its billions and trillions, they lost the war in Afghanistan. This is what is Canada for us. It is a safe haven for Khalistani terrorists. And you can, you know, keep saying all these things. You know, we have expressed displeasure. There will be costs. You have not done anything. There are no exit yeah. uh, actions. Okay. And, no, please, please let me complete. And yeah, you will make your point. Okay, you make, will, your point. You, make your point. Okay. Yeah. And and you know you, uh, you will destroy this uh, this entire thing. And you know I want to make a point that probably you would have not have heard. The thing is, Canada cannot act against Khalistanis because the Khalistanis have infiltrated the Canadian institutions like Muslim Brotherhood. And I can give you a plethora of examples where the politicians are terrified. Yes. You know they back down, and it's not that they love Khalistanis. But they are so terrified and, you know, I can give you many examples how, how they have been bullied and all the, you know, Sikhs who wanted to speak against it. They have actually been forced out of politics. So the Indian government has to take action. You know, we have to ban the WSO World uh, Sikh Organization, which is promoting terrorism. Okay. We have to degrade the diplomatic relations. You have to take the actions. I think there's some very sensible yeah, points you have made and I'm going to allow Sanju Verma to respond to that because Sanju Verma, end of the day, you know, whatever successes they have made in diplomacy, this is one very sore area. India has Thank to you. certainly do more. Madhav, you know, there have been many allegations. First and foremost, uh, the Canadian uh, High Commissioner to India, uh, Cameron McKay, was summoned by the Modi government. Uh, Melanie Joy, uh, the uh, Canadian Foreign Minister, has clearly said that under the Vienna Convention of 1969 and 1985, uh, you know, ensuring the safety of diplomats and diplomatic institutions among member countries is top priority and they will ensure that the uh, so-called Khalistani Freedom Rally, uh, which is scheduled for the 8th of July, uh, you know, uh, is not held. And Mr. Jay Shankar, I think, uh, without holding back any punches, has clearly said, and his exact sentences that 
Khalistanis uh, who are radical, uh, are extremists, uh, these are terror organizations, they don't do any good to either India or its partner countries like the US, UK, Canada, Australia, what have you. Uh, and I also want to say that, you know, we issued a demarche, uh, which basically means a formal protest has been launched with the Canadian government. But most importantly, you know, I have a lot of respect for Sushant Sarin, and I think he knows more on these foreign policy issues than anybody else. But I disagree with him and very strongly when he said that the only government which has actually ever done something to uh, curtail the Khalistani, uh, you know, um, uh, force, uh, it was the Congress government. Let me be very clear that the general perception, and correct me if, my, if I'm wrong, is that in the late 1970s, Indira Gandhi actually attempted to co-opt, and she also co-opted with Bhindra Wale in a bid to split Sikh votes and weaken the Akali Dal, and its chief rival in Punjab, uh, you know, uh, let's also not forget that Congress supported candidates backed by Bhindra Wale in the 1978 SGPC elections. And last hmm. but not the least, you okay. sit here and give a lecture. When I say you, I don't mean Sushant Sarin. I mean anybody from the opposition, you know, gets up and says, Modi Sarkar ne to kuch ne kiya. I want to ask you one thing, Madhav. When was Khalistani Liberation Force, KLF, set up? It was set up in 1986. The Congress was in power from 2004 to 2014. I'm not even talking about, you know, uh, the time in between when Narasimha Rao was the yeah. uh, Prime Minister. Okay. Me, why is it that it was the Modi government? Please, it was the Modi government which in 2018, 32 years after the KLF was set up, the Modi government banned Khalistani liberation okay. So okay. under the UAPA. Will Sushant Sarin not talk about it? No, one minute. More Haliwal of the Poetic Justice Foundation. Who has banned him under UAPA? The Modi government. Will Sushant not talk about it? You know, Gurpatram Singh Pannu of Seek for Justice. Who has banned him under uh, the UAPA? It is the sure. Modi government. Will people not talk about it? Don't unnecessarily, you know, no, demonize but the Modi government. Sanju Arma, there are still incidents that have taken place. I'm going to, okay, you've taken Sushant's name, you've taken the Congress. I'm going to allow both of them to debut you and then I'll come back. Sushant Sari. Yeah, Sushant Sari. Okay, so, so Madhav, uh, she, again, Sanju Verma is absolutely right on the fact that, yes, uh, in, in large part, the Congress party is to blame for the Khalistani movement. Just as they were, they, they also played footsie with the LTT. They paid a very heavy price in the lives of both Mrs. Gandhi as well as Rajiv Gandhi because of the games they played. But to be fair to the Congress party, once they realized the mistake, it, they went with a vengeance under uh, the leadership of BN Singh. They went with a vengeance against these people and they cleaned it up. And they never compromised with this element subsequently. They might have compromised with the LTTE yes. recently, but as Puneet very correctly said, many of those people who were involved in the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi have been very contrite. They have apologized. They are very regretful. But Balwan Singh Rajowana still wears it as a badge of pride that he assassinated uh, Mr. Bhayan Singh. And yeah. for somebody to, and if, and if the central government passed a notification, I'm not aware of it, but if they indeed passed a notification, then I think that is something which needs to be very severely criticized and that needs to be scotched. Absolutely, unequivocally, there is no question of releasing any terrorist, as simple as that. Now, I can also, I, I, okay, I agree with Sanju Verma when she says that we did, you know, we banned this and we banned that. But the fact of the matter remains that you, there was a need to ban the Khalistani commando force uh, simply because these guys had started reviving. They had become active. What do you mean, and this and why had they become active? Because of the kind of license which has been given to them in Punjab from around okay. 2005, yes. 2006. And, and, and there have been incidents that have taken place on foreign soil. This is not for the first time so and that's why it is also very important. Ahmad but I want to bring in Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, Sushant, please at least admit that the Congress failed to rein in Khalistani Liberation Force 
for 32 long years, which the Modi government did. I agree with you on one point that the blacklist perhaps needs to come back. But, but yes. tell me that you know Bhindra Wale was not the creation of Indira Gandhi. That would be lie. I admit, I, 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 no, 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 it's okay. Gandhi. It's okay. I think you're both I on the same page. I, you're both largely I, on the same page, and it's come out through your arguments. I would have, sorry, let me just come in here. I'm bringing the Congress party because the Congress party also, you know, there is an issue over here, Kamran Zaman Chaudhary. You know, whether it is your ally, the DMK, who I just showed a picture of, you know, hugging Mr. Perari Walen. Uh, also, of course, uh, when it comes to the kind of uh, uh, political point scoring that's happening today at a time of a crisis like this, is all of this really opportune? Is this the best time to play politics on such an issue? No, Congress party doesn't play politics on national security issues. You know what happened in uh, abroad, um, uh, institutions of India were attacked abroad and you see the response of the Modi government. Now you take up the events that happened 40 years ago and you start criticizing Gandhi, uh, Indira Gandhi ji, you start criticizing the Congress party. But Madhav, you were in power for the last 9 to 10 years. Now, what is your response to the Canadian government, the American government, British government or the Australian government? Okay. It is totally, as we see, it is the failure of the Modi government and a, and a useless completely, external affairs minister. Completely out of India time. failure to okay. engage the foreign okay. element. Okay. He's foreign putting the onus. Other, he's Chandra putting the onus. Others have also raised the question. The we've, we've, been this, we've been through this. We've been through this argument. I'm completely out of time on this debate, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. Akashdeep Muni, Mahishinder Singh Grewal, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, Puneet Sahib as well as Sushant Sarin. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us on debate number one on the news of this evening.